Hello everyone, welcome back again to our YouTube channel. Irmano here showing you this Deep VNA 101 by Deepelec. I just received this last week and I just got a time today to make a short video of this Deep VNA 101. I have actually this uh, previous version of the Nano VNA F, which is the version 3.1. And the differences between the 3.1 and this Deep VNA 3.2 is first the rotary encoder. So this will make you more comfortable sweeping the frequency ranges that you want to uh, achieve. And they added this RTC circuit so that uh, you will have your calendar and date if you have more details when doing some uh, precise measurement of your antenna. So aside from that, the color of your touch screen is very, very nice compared with the old one. I'm not so sure if they made um, they made an adjustment of, or changes about the touch screen, but the color of this Deep VNA 101 is more... Um, colorful compared with the old one, the 3.1. Um, another thing that I notice is that Dipelic is now creating their own brand or their own branding because if you can see here, um, Deep VNA 101 is, uh, came with this very nice sturdy case and logo of Dipelic uh, is marked on the center so it is very very nice actually the casing is good and another thing is um this is included this is actually a magnetic um uh, stand that you can stick on the back of the deep vna 101 and then um you can just simply put there and uh, place it on the table just like that so it's very very nice it's very very comfortable now when it comes to performance with the previous uh, versions deep vna 101 has the same performance uh, the pellet made an adjustment with the insertion filter with the s21 the dynamic range is larger compared with the previous versions i'm not going to show you each detail because a lot of videos already uploaded in youtube you can search for that you just simply uh, search for nano vnaf uh, by dpelec so they have almost the same functions and features and also the benefits of this deep vna 101 aside from the I've, i have mentioned a while ago about the uh, rotary encoder the 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 insertion filter of um, S21 has a larger dynamic range and of course the RTC circuit. Now, I'll show you this. I, I just attached the um, portable rubber duck with um, this deep, deep VNA 101. The frequency that I'm using right now is on the VHF. Um recall okay so you can see here 136 uh, to 174 so this equipment is already calibrated to from 50 kilohertz to 136 megahertz 136 megahertz to 174 megahertz 174 megahertz to 400 megahertz 400 megahertz to 600 megahertz and so on so um, another thing is the default of the um, uh, dynamic range, the threshold of this um, precision uh, tool is at 280 MHz. So that makes more stable and accurate when it comes to measurement. So as you can see, um, the harmonic is actually in every 300 MHz. But what I did was... Um, I just calibrated this um, precision tool um, 
it is more specific and it's a small uh, narrower um, frequency range that's why i'm using this 136 to 174 megahertz and vhf now you can see here that there is no dip that you can see on the screen unless you're going to touch the case or the body of your precision tool so most of the portable rubber duck is has the same characteristics that when you hold a radio uh, it serves your body is the ground plane of the rubber duck because we everybody knows that rubber duck is uh, unbalanced okay so you can see here that uh, there is no dip until I hold the precision tool so if I hold like this it will show the dip and this shows that the antenna uh, tune in a frequency uh, at 140 megahertz so this is the characteristics of portable antenna so it's like uh, holding a portable radio and that serves you as uh, the ground of this antenna i'm very very happy that the pelic made uh, an adjustment with their nano vnaf and it stands out with other nano vna it's because they're making their own branding already uh, as i've said because of that uh, the pelic case which is very neat nice and sturdy casing it's it, it feels your uh, deep vna it's more feel secure and it's easy to carry probably most of the ham use users preferred the button um, version which is the 3.1 and um, if you are using it for a regular um, basis when you are creating your antenna I, I think you're going to um, choose the latest version which is the 3.2 with the rotary encoder and of course with the additional RTC circuit on this hardware what I can say is most of um, ham radio users especially here in the Philippines they use they use VSWR the common one but I prefer using this deep VNA 101 or the vector uh, network analyzer it's because it has a more precise measurement and it has a lots of details to show uh, from your antenna not unlike with the vswr the common vswr the analog and the digital it will show you the uh, vswr uh, of your antenna including the including the return loss and what else it will show probably the frequency and not unlike with this deep vna 101 it will show you uh, the facing the swr the frequency the return loss uh, even the uh, smith or the ohms that you are using you can measure that and also the the length of the cable you can measure it also using this uh, deep vna 101 in my opinion in creating antenna this is a must i suggest that do not use only the common analog or digital swr or vswr as your tool in measuring antenna and i think it is the data of the antenna will show you is uh, with limitations not unlike this deep vna 101 has a lots of information to show you with your antenna so vswr analog vswr and digital uh, probably you can use that as a guide or monitor when transmitting so if you have this setup you just put the vswr analog vswr and the digital vswr uh, set up with your home base radio and or mobiles or, or mobile radio 
and with your antenna so that you can monitor every time you transmit you can monitor the performance of your antenna so that protects also the radio you are using so having said that if you are creating your own diy antenna or homebrew antenna i suggest to have this deep vna 101 to help you uh, and guide you to create a the best antenna that you ever had so i hope deep vna 101 will improve more in terms of its firmware um, additional uh, features in the future will come and basically that's it i'm happy with deep, uh, this deep vna 101 so i'm going to uh, put my <laughs> the the previous version 3.1 on the on, on my collection and it's going to be displayed on a cabinet and i'm going to use this more often this deep vna 101 that's it guys so thank you very much i hope you're going to subscribe and hit the notification bell if uh, you want to see more of this kind of video and if you like this video please click the like uh, button thank you very much and this is hermano see you soon on the next video